In this video, we'll learn how to Eulerize a graph. So here's a typical problem. Determine if this graph has an Euler circuit or not, and if not, Eulerize the graph by duplicating the fewest possible existing edges. So how do we figure out whether or not the graph has an Euler circuit? Well, we use Euler's theorem. Euler's theorem says two things. First, if every vertex in a graph has even degree, then that graph has an Euler circuit. But if there's at least one vertex with odd degree, then the graph does not have an Euler circuit. So what we need to do is look at this graph and figure out the degree of each vertex. Recall that the degree of a vertex is the number of edges that meet at that vertex. So here's what we get. For example, A has degree 2 because there's two edges that meet at A. B has degree 3 because there are three edges that meet at B. C has degree 2, and so on. And what we see is that unfortunately, we have some vertices with odd degree. In fact, we have four vertices with odd degree. All of those red 3's that you see there, 3 is an odd number, so that means that that gives us a graph that does not have an Euler circuit. But as we've learned, not all is lost. We can Eulerize this graph by duplicating existing edges until all vertices have even degree. What does that look like? Well, one of the edges that we could try to duplicate would be the edge from E to G. If we do that, then what we see is that the degree of E becomes 4, because now there are 4 edges that meet at E, and the degree of G becomes 4, because there are 4 edges that meet at G. So now we only have two vertices with odd degree, and so we're well on our way to Eulerizing this graph. Now you might be tempted to try to draw a new edge from B to D. That would fix B, turn its degree from 3 to 4, and it would also fix D. The problem with that is that that's not an existing edge. Remember that when we finish Eulerizing our graph, any Euler circuit on our new modified graph should translate back into an, a circuit on our original graph that involves retracing those edges that we duplicated. But we can't retrace an edge that isn't there, so we can't do that. Uh, so in fact, since we saw that we had four vertices with odd degree, we might have hoped that we could have gotten away with only duplicating two edges, since each edge has the potential to fix two bad vertices. But in fact, as we see here, we're not able to do that. In fact, we can fix B and D with two additional edges. We can duplicate the edge from A to D that fixes D, but in a sense breaks A, which was a vertex with degree 2, now has degree 3. So A is one of those vertices that we need to fix. We can fix A and B now by duplicating the edge from A to B. And now, as you see, all of the vertices in this graph have even degree, and so we've Eulerized this graph by duplicating three edges.